life, folks. In the last three months, AR has had incredible capacity changes thanks to our new volunteers. This whole operation has really grown beyond what one person can do. The projects we're working on now, they take a team, and I'm so grateful that we have one. I want to give you a chance to meet our volunteers. Hi, my name is Brian Guevara, and I'm currently a senior undergraduate at the University of Iowa studying biology. With the American Resiliency, I've been helping promote the organization and its mission on social media so that way we can reach more American communities across the country just like yours. I decided to do this because I know the impacts that climate change poses on communities across the country, and I want to help in any way that I can to help prepare these communities for what is to come. Hope is not lost. With the proper precautions, we can prepare for what is to come. So, let's get ready. What's up, YouTube? My name is Sarah. I live in Greater Philadelphia, and I'm a physical therapist. I'm a new volunteer with AR, and I'm helping with research. My personal resilience goal is to relocate to an area that will still have snow in the winter and mild temperatures in the summer in 2050. Resilience matters to me because it is the key to thriving in an increasingly more difficult and challenging world. Like many people, I felt depressed and powerless in recent years due to the changes that are happening in our environment. Since finding AR, I feel so much more empowered and optimistic about the future. I'm looking forward to getting more knowledge out there to help all of our viewers make empowered choices too. Hello. My name is Josie Bliss. I'm currently a senior undergraduate at the University of Iowa studying evolutionary biology. I'm planning on attending graduate school in the fall of 2023, although I'm not quite sure where that's going to be just yet. I was asked to help American Resiliency be its board as someone who could hopefully provide a different perspective when it came to understanding and communicating with different audiences. As somebody of a younger generation, as well as somebody directly involved in scientific research at the moment, I've hoped that I've been at least able to provide a little bit of different perspectives when it came to addressing certain issues and communicating them with the public. As somebody who's planning on continuing research in evolution and ecology, my goal going forward is to help contribute more knowledge to our understanding of the world around us and how it works. I think it's important to understand that no matter what the circumstances, no ecosystem or climate is ever going to stay exactly the same. So even if things do get better, and I sincerely hope they do, things will still be different. And it's important to know why they'll be different and how they'll be different and how we can continue to exist in them and how we relate with the things around us. And my goal going forward is to hopefully contribute more to our understanding of those things. Hi, my name is Mike and I live in Iowa out in the country. And I've got a bit of a cold, so my voice is kind of scratchy. I do the uh, video editing for American Resiliency. And it's something I'm very happy to do, very proud to do. When I was younger, I remember going in, even in elementary school, learning about climate change or global warming, as they called it back then. And the message was always, we've got to stop this. We need to make sure this never happens. And from a young age, it was clear to me that that wasn't a message that was going to work, that this is something that's happening. And we have an amazing ability to solve problems as human beings but we also sometimes cause problems. And I'm very proud to be part of what American Resiliency is doing to try to unleash the human capacity to solve problems, to be resilient, and to help people know that, yes, this is happening, and it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to stop it, but we are going to be able to deal with it. We're going to be able to figure out how to continue to survive and thrive going into the future. And I'm very happy to be on the team. I'm very happy to help Dr. Scherning and to, to, to get this message out there. I also want to recognize Kyle, our community organizer. He's been doing a lot to help us connect with people on the ground and to get ready for our spring ground launch. It's worth pointing out, you don't need to appear on video to volunteer for AR. With the work of these volunteers, we're honestly talking about a contribution of labor equivalent to a full-time position, and I'm so grateful to the whole team. If you are interested in a manageable short-term commitment, get in touch to join us as we prepare for Earth Day. This year on Earth Day, April 22nd, we want to engage with communities in person around resilience issues. We'll be tabling and participating in Earth Day festivals in several cities in Iowa, and if you're out of state, we can help support you too. If you want to get on board in your area, we have materials to help you. Brief data and content note, 
As I participate in draft review for the fifth national climate assessment, I want you to know I'm looking out for your interests. In April, when the new assessment is published, I will get you the updated projection data you need to prepare for your future. I can't comment on the draft at this pre-published stage, but I can let you know that if you want direct access, it is available to every American at globalchange.gov slash NCA5. Final note for this update, as we move into quarter two of year two, we're on track for basic funding. We're a quarter of our way through year two, and we've met a quarter of our year two goal of 20K. I'm working on larger scale development through grants and family foundations, and hopefully we can live the dream and get staff funding. We have incredible people giving their time, their money, and their labor to AR. Thank you for supporting this organization and wishing you a bright holiday season. We will continue to do our very best to bring you the resilience information you need to get ready.